Today was the day we picked mom up from the hospital. Well, I picked mom up from the hospital. Um, started off with a 10 o'clock, <laughs> 10 o'clock uh, consult with the uh, pr with her primary hospital physician and the uh, and a member of the palliative care team. Uh, all things being equal, hospitals get busy with emergencies and things like that. So we didn't actually get a consult until 1130. Uh, and that wasn't with the doctor. It was just with a member of the palliative care team, which was fine. Uh, we got the answers. We got the different levels of care, you know, what we should do, what we shouldn't do. Um, Mom is very much about wanting to be at home, not wanting to be tied down. If she wants to go somewhere, she can go somewhere. Uh, and that there are levels. Uh, it turns out that one of the, there's a home care option, but if you're in the home care option, you are housebound. Um, the uh, hospice, home hospice option, they're like, okay, you live your life the most comfortable if you want to go somewhere you go somewhere if you feel like it go ahead uh and that's where we are uh she got some additional medication uh some stuff called lasix and not the eye surgery it's a uh um kind of a diuretic um but it helps with her condition which is that her heart isn't pumping blood properly so it can build up fluid in the lungs well this helps to get rid of the fluid but then there's also some stuff with the kidneys so it's kind of a balancing act and it's you know they've done really well uh, she's on a good dose um, we got oxygen uh, I've been trying to get her to ask about oxygen for a while and now we have an oxygen prescription so I can get her tank filled and uh, but we also have tanks now uh, I found out one of those oxygen tanks that wheels around on the little cart the, with the little green top on it. Those last about five hours at uh, two liters per minute, or yeah, two liters per minute. And uh, so that's not a long-term solution, but we also got an oxygen concentrator, which is one that you plug into the wall and it just generates oxygen from the atmosphere, splits off the nitrogen and other gases and condenses the oxygen and that's what she gets so she's on that now that is not portable uh it's about the size of a travel suitcase and weighs about 25 30 pounds makes a little bit of noise but it's not too bad uh, but then she is also tethered <clears throat> she's on oxygen 24 hours a day and that of course is not pleasing to her but at the same point it's keeping her alive um it also means that she can't cook because you can't have oxygen near a stove, even if it's an electric stove. Although I'm going to guess that she's going to violate that at some point. I'm hoping not to, but right now I've been doing the cooking. I mean, it's been one meal, uh, but I'm, I'm good with that. Um, she got a walker or a roller I guess it's it's actually kind of a cool cool walkery thing with wheels on it and it's got brakes and a seat so if she gets tired she can just turn around plop down and just sit for a while which is kind of cool I have to admit uh, it's a whole lot it's a whole lot cooler than a granny walker and she's still pretty spry uh, for the time being she is definitely weaker uh, she is um, less firm than she was but part of that is also and she's been in bed for several days so getting walking again is a little more you're taking it slow um, but she is mobile um, I put grab bars in her shower I uh, found a really nice mounting system that mounts them solidly uh, they'll hold up to like 450 pounds and She's like 106, um, but I, I tested them. I didn't hang on them or anything, but I pulled on them pretty good and they are not 
going anywhere. So pretty happy with that. Got them at Home Depot. I mean, hmm. They had a selection. And they had some pretty arty ones too. A little more expensive. But, um, she's going to die. It is inevitable. We know it. I am here to try and make the rest of her life as comfortable as I can. But I also have to have my own life. And um, <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to do this. I have things that I need to do at home and I can't do them. So now I am trying to find other people to do them for me in my absence. And, you know, I've got friends and some of them are helping out, but there are things that I have to do myself. I mean, there's, I have to, there's papers that I have to sign. I have to go to work and pick up equipment. I have to get my computer re-imaged. Um, you know, I'm going to have to go down to the cities again and I'm going to need to find someone here that can stay for a few days and watch her while I'm gone and can give her that level of care. And it has to be someone that she can trust and feel comfortable with too. Uh, I'm not going to be able to go home for a while. I was hoping to go home this weekend and that's not going to happen. So um, kudos to Screamtown. Um, I, we had purchased tickets and uh, because of this, weren't able to go and you know but they know us at Screamtown we've we've gone every year for ever and uh, Matt was gracious enough to let us um, let us use this year's purchase for next year um, and uh, can't say enough about about the folks at Screamtown love 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 I'm gonna miss Halloween this year um, I don't know if I'm even going to get to find a haunted house up here. I don't think there was one last time I was up here. Um, there might be one. I don't know. But I don't know that I'm going to get to go see it. Um, I would hope it's something that I could do. But again, I don't know. This is all new. Um, we're playing it by ear. It's an adjustment. Uh, it's certainly more of an adjustment for mom than it is for me. But I'm here. I'm here for her. I also need to bear in mind that I have to take care of myself. I'm finding it difficult to remember to eat. Um, even when I do eat, I can't eat very much because my stomach is just not cooperating um, I have to cook for mom which is you know I can cook um, but she's on a restricted sodium diet so you know taking those things into account I do have some really nice um, helping guides from the hospital trying to tell you guys about all this um, helps me helps me keep it straight helps me remember that I am a person <laughs> I don't feel like one I miss my dogs I miss my dogs um, I'm gonna get dog mobbed when I get back oh my god um, now the neighbors have a couple dogs and they are they love me. Um, the funeral director, uh, Cease Funeral Home, can't say enough. I, Kevin Cease is wonderful. Um, <laughs> he brings his dog to work, and she's a therapy dog. Her name's Molly. She's a golden retriever. She is a love. So I'm going to, uh, I got some treats I'm going to bring. Because, you know, I am not above, above bribing a dog or two or three. Um, trying to keep
keep a sense of humor and a sense of lightness. I understand people are uncomfortable. Oh my God, I understand that. Uh, you know, what do you do? What do you say? How do you do? It's like, it's okay. We know what's going to happen. We've been looking at this for a while. The shoe dropped. Now we're on, we're on the final descent. And that's what we're going to do. There is no alternative. I'm here because there is no one else that can be here to do this. Um, I kind of want to say I wish I didn't have to, but that's not really true. Um, I, I love my mom. She's been there for me a lot of times when she didn't have to be. And, you know, I can be there for her. So, anyway, uh, Maudlin, two Maudlin. Um, I'm going to keep updating as I can. I just, it's going to come out of my brain in one way or the other, and I'd rather do it here. Uh, so, Maybe if things perk up a little bit, I'll give you a tour once the place gets a little more, uh, a little more homey. Right now, I've got a pile of pillows in the corner of the bedroom that I have no bed. Uh, got delivered to my home address. Thanks, Amazon. Uh, so I got to get that cleared up. But uh, uh, I guess we'll see if Amazon can find the house. <laughs> Um, you can't get things as fast up here. I found that out. Uh, but okay, I can live with that. There are things that I don't need super quick. A bed would be nice. Right now I'm up in mom's guest room, but you know we're gonna keep that as a guest room because she's going to have people come and stay, come and visit, and I don't want to have to be right there all the time. I can't do that. I have things that I need to do. I'm hoping to get back to work. And when I'm going to work, I'm going to need to be away. And I'm not going to be able to be there. Uh, I am getting a, an alert button uh, so that if she wants me for anything, she can hit the button and I've got a, like a beeper thing that can go off and I can, you know, go check on her, see what's, see what's happening. Um, and that's less for medical emergencies and more for, Hey, I need you for something. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, trying to keep us all together. Um, hopefully I will. Whew. It's a lot. Six hours in the hospital today going through consultations and questions and tests and lessons and discussions and everything. And I finally got out of there at, um, I guess, about 4.30 and uh, picked up you know, the, all the equipment that we could pick up. You know, picked up her new prescriptions. Uh, and I forgot to eat. I didn't get lunch. You know, it was like I, I had a breakfast. I had, I had a Burger King drive through uh, Really kind of nice, actually. I'm surprised. Um, iced coffee. Vanilla iced coffee. It was really good. <clears throat> and then tonight um, had some leftover pizza and then not not good I'm going to have to cook for myself again when I get time I have to clean the kitchen I have to clean mom's kitchen first of all I have to unbury mom's kitchen oh. and she's not going to be pleased because she has things in the way that she likes them that have been there for years and changing that up 
is going to be tough on her. And that's okay. I don't have anxiety medication. I'm going at this alone. Kind of wish I did. Then again, I'd probably fall asleep. So, uh, sleeping has not been my friend lately. All right, enough. Um, I'm hoping I get to see my dog soon. Um, they're doing fine. At, I mean, they're having a ball with with Sonia. Uh, I think they're probably enjoying it more than they do with me because I'm boring. Sonia plays. Um, all right. Good enough for now. I'll try and update you tomorrow. Uh, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this every day, I think. Maybe. Uh, if I get time. I try to make time. It's like a weird confessional. All right. Next time. See you guys.